Hello, and welcome to another episode of Alec Likes Macintosh. <clears throat> Actually, welcome to the first episode of Alec Likes Macintosh. And because it's the first episode, I thought it would be interesting if we took a look at some of Apple's firsts um, that I have represented in my collection. We will look at three individual machines that have um, some either feature, design choice, or um, hardware choice that was the first for Apple Macintosh computers to have featured. For instance, we have this, the beautiful, the very loud Macintosh 2. This was released in 1987, and it was Apple's first modular machine. It featured six new bus slots, which allowed it to um, be expanded on and upgraded. It featured eight ROM, RAM slots with a maximum capacity of 20 megabytes, which is really big for 1987. This one has 8 megabytes. And it was the first Macintosh to be able to display color. For example, we'll just pop open this full file here in Illustrator 88, just so you can see that it actually is displaying color. It is only 256, um, it is only capable of 256 colors at the moment, but if I were to install, say, a uh, stronger uh, video board, we could probably push it up to, I think, 16... <clears throat> that was the wrong setting. There we go. So as you can see, we're previewing colors here on a Macintosh 2. So that's pretty basic. Um, at some point, I will get around to doing a full-blown review and dive deep into this machine, but um, that's the kind of high level. First for Apple, first color display, first modular design, and the first 32-bit machine. Although this would require mode 32, which I don't think was available until System 7. Anyway, so that's the Macintosh 2. Let's take a look at another first by Apple. And now, for number two on our list, the 20th anniversary Macintosh. Now, before we say anything or do anything, let's first listen to its startup chime because it is truly unique. Isn't that just so cool? Only machine to have that startup sound. Anyway, now what makes this um, particular machine any firsts for Apple? Uh, to begin with, the design. It's four. It's the first Apple Macintosh computer to be designed around a flat panel display. All the computing bits are, are back behind the display, kind of like the latest iMacs or the iMacs for the past, like, decade. And that's largely the, the most significant first for Apple on this machine. Um, it was also the first desktop Apple computer to utilize a laptop hard disk. Um, not terribly significant. And uh, it was also the first machine that Apple produced at a mass scale um, that actually truly took in account finish, color, and material in the overall design. We have leather on the trackpad, the fabric on the speaker grills, and then this beautiful green plastic used throughout the case of the body. Um, other than that, it's just the 20th anniversary Macintosh. There's a lot to go in on this machine, but we'll save that for another video. So there it is, number two on our list. The 20th anniversary Macintosh, which it's 12 inch flat panel display. It also takes a really long time to boot, if you haven't noticed in the background, it's been trying for a very long time. Anyway, on to number three. The iBook G3. What makes this one so special? Well, it was the first machine, or actually the first laptop, to be designed around wireless connectivity. Just here under the keyboard is the wireless card. And with that, you could access wireless networks and wireless internet, which is amazingly fantastic for a machine launched in 1999. Oh my gosh, this won't go back in. It's a little old and the chassis is a little warped, but there we go, we got it back going. So there it is, the iBook G3. In addition to being the first wireless design, or in addition to being the first Apple computer designed, or the first laptop in general, designed around wireless connectivity. It was also the first Apple to feature AGP graphics, 
and the first one built around the unified logic board architecture, which would later then be used on basically all Apple machines. So there it is, the iBook G3. It also has a handle, but we can go into the details and the quirks and features of this machine later on in another video. So there it is. Three firsts from Apple from my collection here at Alec Likes Macintosh. Stay tuned for more detailed information on Macintosh computers, Macintosh software, and everything in between. Thank you. Click and subscribe.